A Brookhaven man has been in the hospital for about 230 days, battling COVID-19 with his wife by his side. 12 News' Jay Belexia investigates this severe case of COVID-19. Joey Wall has been fighting for his life while on a ventilator. He's been in several different hospitals, but Baptist Memorial is where Joey spent six months in the ICU. At 61 years old, Joey Wall was working as a mail carrier and was considered healthy. But last summer, coronavirus struck his family. Joey's wife, Luann, said they were always careful and wearing masks, but Joey's symptoms progressed to the point he needed to go to the hospital. Luann had COVID too, and she wasn't allowed to go to the hospital with him, so she dropped him off at King's Daughters Medical Center. It was worse than what she expected. He's panicking, he couldn't breathe, and so he had asked to be put on the ventilator. So, and then finally, when I had been fever free for three days, I was able to go in and see him. He had gone from 240 pounds to 318 pounds with all the extra fluid on his body and he was looking really bad they had him sedated on september 23rd he was airlifted to baptist memorial and was told he may not survive the flight but the family took a chance and he stayed in icu from the 23rd to november the 13th and um during that time we thought he was going to die many times but when he did wake up in the ICU and they got him off sedation, he couldn't move. I'm sorry. He then moved to long term acute care, then to Franklin County to be closer to home. He was off the ventilator for a week, but was back at Baptist Memorial January 11th after problems following surgery. Dr. Timothy Cannon says at Baptist they've had 3,000 people admitted for COVID-19. At least 300 have been seen in the ICU. Of those, 250 have been on ventilators. The thing that's most likely is you'll have some evidence of chronic muscle weakness. Even with aggressive rehabilitation, only 40% of patients with this critical illness, polyneuropathy, will never been able to, you know, function with their muscles normally, in other words, not be able to walk or ambulate. Um, and you certainly, we see patients who've had uh, prolonged, uh, prolonged uh, hospitalizations in the intensive care unit on multiple medications, can have some cognitive impairment permanently. It's just difficult to know exactly how much and who will have that. On Wednesday, Joey arrived at the post-acute medical specialty hospital of Hammond in Louisiana, showing improvement, also signs of movement, and he's more alert. For 12 News Investigates, I'm Jade Belexa.